big feet in it. And there's a firm after that trash can. So we'll see if we can get into it. Hey fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're outside the Grand Tetons National Park here in Wyoming. And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Wyoming. I think the first thing you need to know, the first don't you need to know about Wyoming is don't tell people from Wyoming what to do. This is a very independent state. This is very much an equal rights state. It was actually the first U.S. territory and state that allowed women to vote. It's a fantastic place and that independent spirit is throughout the state. So trying to tell them how you do it back home and other places is not going to go over well, okay? Now, the people are super friendly and super nice, but just a heads up. Now, my second don't for you is don't expect to have cell service everywhere you go in Wyoming. It is a huge state with a very small population. You have so much beautiful nature here with mountains like the Grand Tetons that there is going to be points where you don't have cell service. So do have a heads up for that. So when you are driving, you are going around, make sure you do download the map onto your phone, download the GPS kind of coordinates so you have that. So you just in case you go off grid, you at least have a map of where you are and where you need to go. So do have a heads up for that. Now, the third don't I have for you is when you're going and exploring Wyoming, it is a huge state with lots of wildlife. And if you go to the national parks or if you're just going to be going around the state, remember this, don't mess with the animals. Don't feed them. Don't play with them. They are wild animals. That means they are wild. They're wildlife. They're not up there to pet and go, oh, look at that cute bison. Oh, look at that nice little bear. No, you need to stay away from them, okay? Because you can get really hurt. It's not just to protect the animals. It's also protect you. So do be careful. And, and don't forget, you got to watch out for the animals when you're on the road. I mean, we've seen moose, we've seen elk, we've seen deer. On the road, we've seen the, the bighorn sheep. You do need to pay attention when you're driving because the animals do, you know, wander around because this is a very much a wide open state very independent independent people and independent animals okay now my next don't for you is really going to deal with when you're going to the national parks whether you're going to here to grand tetons or you're going to yellowstone farther up the way and that is don't ignore the signs in the parks if it says follow the path or don't leave the path you don't leave the path you don't go and explore like oh i'm going to go off on my own here at yellowstone and see some of the the hot spots and stuff like that you have to realize is they put those paths in there for a reason it's to protect tourists so they don't get hurt because you know what tourists have been killed because they've fallen in places they shouldn't have so don't ignore the science when you do go to those national parks or those national monuments and, and that's why i want to reinforce when they say don't feed the bears don't feed the bears, okay? Because you know what? You're way tastier than a chicken sandwich, okay? So just be careful. And another don't I have for you is you have to realize is you are a lot higher altitude, a lot of places here in Wyoming, 6,000 feet, 10,000 feet, depending on where you're going to go. If you're going to go hiking in the mountains and stuff like this, you need to be careful with the sun. So don't forget to bring sun protection. I've got a hat in my car. We've got sunblock as well. And this isn't just in the summertime. It's also in the winter time as well. Okay. So do be safe. Do be protected from the sun and the elements when you are here. And I'll talk about more about the, uh, some don'ts for the elements later, but, uh, Let's go explore some more of this beautiful state and uh, I'm gonna go enjoy the Grand Tetons. So another don't you need to know when you come to Wyoming is don't count on the weather. We are here, it's Sunday and it's 94 degrees. On Tuesday, they're calling for three inches of snow. This is Wyoming. You cannot trust the weather, okay? So make sure you're bringing layers. You just have your t-shirt and your quarter zip and maybe your winter coat when you are coming, but do be careful with it. What, Julian, do you go to 272? You can run away. Now, my next don't for you in Wyoming is don't think you're going to get out of seeing cowboys and rodeos when you're here. Whether you're coming to Frontier Days in Cheyenne or anywhere around here, you have a great time at the rodeo. It's quite the experience. It's a cool thing to do. So definitely don't skip out on the rodeo and all the cowboy fun when you are here in Wyoming. So now I'm here in the center of Jackson, Wyoming. And my next don't for you is don't freak out about some of the local food when you do come here to Wyoming. Because look, this is a very much a beef steak. You will have amazing steaks when you're here. But there's other animals you might have for the first time when you're here. For example, don't be surprised if you see bison steak on the menu or maybe an elk burger. Or if you want to be really adventuresome, you can have some Rocky Mountain oysters. Yes, you can have um, <clears throat> the testicles of certain animals, let's say. And there are really a lot of things that people are like, I don't know about that. But you'll see here in Wyoming, because there's a lot of hunting and stuff like that, there's a lot of game meat that you really can enjoy. So when you're hitting up some of these restaurants, why not grab that bison? 
bison steak or grab that elf burger or something like that, okay? Or get a choke cherry, you know, jam to put on your bread in the morning. It is totally good to go, all right? Now, when you're driving around Wyoming, and we have driven from one corner of Wyoming to the other corner of Wyoming, and we're gonna go to another corner of Wyoming, You'll notice that nicely on the highways, it is really rather quick on the highways, 80 miles per hour on I-80, you'll have 70 on the, the state highways and stuff. So it can be a pretty fast drive in terms of the speed. So don't freak out with the speed, okay? If you're not used to it, you don't have to go all the way. Now you will have people that will pass you at 90, no problem, but just know that you will have faster speed limits when you are here, which makes it a lot faster to get between places because this really is a big state. And when you are driving around, my next one for you is don't forget to fill up every chance you get. Look, if you're on I-80 or maybe I-25, you'll see gas stations more often. But if you're on the back, you know, Wyoming state roads and the county highways and stuff like that, Finding a gas station sometimes can be a little more tricky. Um, <laughs> I know when we were driving up from Cheyenne, there was there was like a Sinclair, you know, a gas station that's kind of like hidden back in a town and you would have thought it was just some kind of like dilapidated building or forgotten thing. You really have to look. So whenever you see gas, even if you're on like a half a tank or just about half a tank, I would definitely fill up just in case. And another thing with the driving is since there is it's such a big state and there's not a lot of people in it and there's not a lot of towns in it. Make sure you're stocking up on water and snacks in case you have car trouble and it takes a while for people to get out to you. You do need to make sure that you do have that kind of packed in there to be safe. Now, another thing I really enjoy about being here in Wyoming is, is, is a good don't is don't be surprised the locals are extremely friendly, extremely helpful, and extremely talkative. There's not a lot of people in Wyoming, so it seems like they're very happy when the tourists are here and they want to talk to you. They want to, it's not just the common courtesy, hi, how are you? Have a nice day. It's all, where are you from? What are you doing? Oh, have you tried here? Oh, go to this place for the steak. Go to that place, the Rocky Mountain Oysters, if you really want to have it. And the locals can be, they, they really shine through and they're, they're I, I don't know how I want to say this, they're, they're very courteous and very, like they're not like outgoing, like crazy friendly, like, ah, but they are very kind of heartfelt with how they speak to people and how they share information about the state and what you should do and what you should watch out for. I know a lot of the locals told us so like, hey, you know, that we might have snow on Tuesday. So if you're going to be driving, wait to drive until Wednesday or get out of here on Monday because you don't want to be on the highways those days. And they were like very, very serious about being, you know, helpful for us but helping us be safe while we're here now as i'm here in jackson i think there's some other things i really need to talk about one um jackson hole is this area jackson is the actual town because a lot of people say oh we're going to jackson hole well it's not a town it's just it's like when you say we're going to tampa bay well tampa it's the tampa bay area tampa is the actual city in florida whereas here jackson's the actual city and jackson hole is kind of like this area around jackson where their skiing is and stuff like that so just want to let you know that but when you come to jackson another don't i have for you is don't expect anything to be cheap look wyoming in general is actually a pretty affordable state to visit except when you come to jackson because going out to eat doing things around here the prices can be pretty high. So prepare your pocketbook for Jackson, but the rest of the state, you should be okay. And another thing I think is important when we're looking at Jackson and other places, like if you're looking to go into Cheyenne for frontier days, or you're coming here to Jackson during ski season, you need to book, or I should say, don't forget to book in advance, like way in advance, like a year in advance for your hotels for frontier days in Cheyenne, or if you're going to be going skiing here in Jackson, or you're going to be going up to Casper and, and skiing there, you need to make sure you are booking ahead because don't be surprised if there's nothing available and it's not like there's another town 20 miles down the highway to get you a place, okay? It's going to be a lot farther, so make sure you're booking ahead. And look, I wasn't joking when I was talking about the weather. Remember that part where I'm at the rodeo talking about that? I just talked about the weather. I we have frontier days it is two days later we're going from 91 degrees to snow you see that on the the uh the train depot that's snow there yes the weather here has a mind of its own so do be ready so that means don't forget to bring your layers when we're coming here this is in september when we're here i brought my winter coat i have my you know my, my quarter zip underneath another shirt i got my hiking boots you need to be prepared clothingly for when you come here. So make sure you're bringing layers, make sure you're being prepared for changes in the weather. That means don't forget to look at the 10 day forecast before you come to Wyoming. Now, I'm not gonna guarantee that 10 day forecast is gonna be right, but it'll give you a rough idea of what to expect because you do need to be ready when you come here. Because the locals will tell you, 
they don't put their winter jackets away until June. I mean, they're used to having a snow day in May or September or something like that. So do have a heads up and do be ready for that. And another thing I wanna talk about with the weather is the wind. And I'm gonna say is don't mess with the wind. Not just when you're looking at snow, but the dust that can get blown up, you do need to be careful. So when you're driving here, you know, the 10 and two you learned in driver's ed, make sure you're driving that way because the wind can come out of nowhere. We've seen dust devils going around, the, the snow blowing around, you do need to be careful. Also, when you're driving that wind, like if you're on I-80, sometimes the snow drifts come and they might close that, okay? So do be ready. And if you have a high profile vehicle, maybe you're coming here with your RV or you got a big SUV, that wind will really knock you around. So do be ready for that. None of that, I drive with my knee kind of stuff. No, no, make sure you got your 10 and two, just so you're being safe. And that's why it really is kind of important to also mention, don't forget to look up your path before you go. Look, GPS will give you the fastest route by miles or time or whatever. That doesn't mean it's the best path for you. Here in Wyoming, you know, you do have long stretches of flatland, but also you have mountains you might be going through and things like that. So your accommodation where you're gonna stay, tell them where you're coming from. Today, we're here in Cheyenne, but tomorrow we're driving up to Jackson to go to the Grand Tetons. And we talked to our hotel there and said, hey, what's the best way to come? Because do we just go 80 and then go up? Or what do you suggest? and they'll give you the best way to go because sometimes the fastest way is not the best way to go. So do have a heads up for that and do plan your trip accordingly. Now, my next thing, which I think is important to mention on our don'ts is don't think Wyoming is just Yellowstone. I know a lot of people, they think, oh, Wyoming, Yellowstone, the bisons are all over. Yeah, no, yes, there is that. And it is gorgeous and you do need to go to Yellowstone. It is fantastic. But this state has so much more to visit. Whether you're in the Northeast part and you wanna go see the Devil's Tower, or you're here in Cheyenne with a number of museums, or you're here for Frontier Days in Cheyenne. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to see and do when you're around here. Yes, go ski in Jackson and go see the Grand Tetons National Park, do that. But there's all kinds of other things to do throughout the state that aren't just Yellowstone. And I realize I'm filming part of this video at Yellowstone or by Yellowstone, but I just want you to know that this state has a lot more to offer. So get out there and explore it. And that's why when you're exploring here, don't forget to fill up on gas whenever you can. But I think one of the things you need to know is when you're filling up in gas, there, there's another don't I have for you. And I'm gonna go another place to show you that one. And my last little bonus don't of visiting Wyoming is, don't feel bad if you laugh at the come and go. <laughs> I mean, if you're a tourist, you're coming through, you just have to chuckle at the name of this gas station. It's just, it's just the way it is. And I think the locals use that as a way to kind of test if you're a local or if you're a tourist or a traveler just coming through this beautiful state. But yeah, don't don't worry if you laugh at the come and go name. It's it, <laughs> I got I got to laugh. So anyway, I wish y'all the best. Have a great time. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoy Wyoming. Obviously, you can tell we really loved it. Whether you're Yellowstone, Grand Teton, Devil's Tower, Cheyenne, Jackson, wherever you're going to go throughout this beautiful state, I hope you have a great time doing it. If you want to learn more, we've got all kinds of other fun stuff about traveling the U.S., traveling the world, national parks, all kinds of great stuff on our website at waltersworld.com. And I'll wish you all the best. And a special thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. And uh, we really appreciate your support. And if you want to learn more, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out how. And also our members on YouTube, thanks so much. Wish you all the best. Bye from Wyoming.